Did you know that books can take you on a trip around the world? Yes, that's right. Without spending a dime on airfare, books can help you and your children experience the wonders of the world without leaving the comfort of your couch. Imagine sitting curled up on the couch and reading the story of Kitty Cat and finding out about all the amazing landmarks she gets to see on her trip to Paris or Rome or wherever she visits next. We also have an amazing picture atlas, big picture atlas, where you can become familiar with the people, animals, landmarks, and more of all of these phenomenal countries all over the world. This book is beautifully illustrated and has tons of facts. Your kids will be begging to learn more about all of these amazing places. Our Lift the Flat Picture Atlas lets you experience it in a totally different way by lifting these beautiful flaps and experiencing all about the cultures and people of South America, Europe, Africa, and more. This book also comes with a map in the back that you can open up this fold and fold out and have a beautiful map to display on your wall of the continents of the world as well as the flags. On a cold winter's night, your whole family can sit around and put together this amazing jigsaw puzzle, the Atlas and Jigsaw Puzzle of the World. Inside this box, you'll find a 300-piece jigsaw puzzle as well as this beautiful book, Atlas of the World Picture Book. We love doing this puzzle together in our family, and it's something that the whole family can enjoy doing together. One of our newest Shine a Light books, Wonders of the World, will allow you to, again, travel the world by just reading a book from the comfort of your couch. This book features landmarks and amazing sites all over the world, such as the ruins of Machu Picchu in Peru, Cape Town, South Africa, the Christ the Redeemer statue, animals of the Southern African savanna, ruins in Rome, Italy, beautiful buildings in India, the Great Barrier Reef, and so much more. For your children that love to ask who, what, where, why, and how, we have our questions and answers book about the world. Where is the tallest waterfall? Where is the South Pole? How many countries are there? How many different languages are spoken? Why is the earth round? Why is summer hotter than winter? If you have a little one that loves asking questions, this is the book you need. Now, my number one pick for learning about people groups that live all over the world is our amazing title called Here and There. This book celebrates our similarities and our differences. For example, playing outdoors in Norway and in Hong Kong, traveling to school in Zambia and Japan, doing chores, yeah, we do them all over the world, chores in Belgium, chores in Uganda, it's an amazing celebration of all these different cultures and all of the amazing things that they have in common and the things that are different here and there. As you're reading these books, you're gonna want an amazing reference book as well to dig in deeper to all of these incredible places. So I love our geography encyclopedia and a complete world atlas. This is a great resource as you learn about these people groups on these uh, little picture books and maps that you have. You can then dig in deeper by opening up this amazing reference book and even checking out the internet links. This book is internet linked so you can find videos and tons of great information on all of these topics. And again, these are safe sites that are approved for your family. Lastly, another gem in our collection is called What a Wonderful Word. Now, this is technically a kid's book, 
but I personally love it for myself and I know quite a lot of other adults that would enjoy it too. This book features beautiful, untranslatable words from other cultures. Words that you can't just translate in a single word into English. So here we have Glugavetter. This is an Icelandic word for weather that looks beautiful on the outside of the window, but when you go outside, it's much too cold out there. How about this one? Porunk Kusima. I need to work on my pronunciation. Fortunately, there is a pronunciation guide in the back of the book. This is a Finnish word for the distance that a reindeer can walk before needing to use the bathroom. Who knew? How about Kafune? Brazilian Portuguese, the act of running your fingers through someone else's hair. Namjai, a Thai word for a spirit of selfless generosity and kindness, a willingness to make sacrifices for friends and extend hospitality to strangers. This book is beautiful, diverse, and your family is going to love it. I hope you've enjoyed this little feature of amazing books that will help your family travel the world while cozying up on your couch, reading books together, and just experiencing all of the amazing cultures, people groups, and languages around the world. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!